kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make gnocchi with leftover mashed potatoes. So let me show you the ingredients that you're going to need. Um, right here in this bowl I have um, some leftover potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes, one egg, and then on the side here I have some uh, about two cups of flour. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper just for flavoring and I'll show you how to do this. So I'm just going to add a pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper and then I'm going to mix up my egg and mashed potatoes and I'm going to add my flour about a quarter cup at a time. And so I'm gonna mix this egg in with the potatoes. Now my potatoes are straight from the refrigerator, so um, they're cold and, um, and that's okay. Um, it's, it's perfectly fine. You can have um, smooth mashed potatoes. Uh, my potatoes are probably a little bit, uh, there we go, a little bit um, on the lumpier side because I mashed them myself and I did not have a potato ricer, but that's okay. So I'm gonna add a quarter cup of flour in here and I'm gonna start mixing that in. Now, I'm gonna to get to the point where it's gonna to be too hard to mix with a spoon and I'm gonna to switch to my hands and dump it out on my board um, because that's probably the easiest way to do it. And then you can feel where your dough is at, um, whether you need more flour um, or whether it's just right you may not need there's two cups of flour there but you may not need all of it so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna add another quarter cup of flour here mix that in just like so and actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my hands now um, my mother used to make gnocchi for uh, my brother's birthday every year. She thought that it was his favorite dish and so this just kind of brings back some um, great memories of my mom and you know just family memories of when I was a kid and how she used to make these for us and she always used it with um, like a spaghetti sauce but today I'm gonna make these ones with a brown butter and sage sauce because I just think that sounds really good so I'm gonna dump this out now and it's a little bit sticky still so I'm gonna add another quarter cup of flour and work that in get these off my hands okay so you want to have a, a soft dough and I'm just working this flour in and so far I've only used about, not even a cup of flour yet, but I think it's going to need some more flour. But I'm going to work all of this in so you can see. Um, it's really a soft dough right now. And I want it to be able to, uh, knead, I want to knead it. So it's going to need more flour. I'm going to add another quarter cup of flour and just work that in. You don't want a tough dough, but you don't want it to be so sticky and soft that it doesn't hold together. Okay, so I ended up using about a cup of flour, and what I've done is um, I've taken the dough and I've cut it into uh, several pieces to, um, to make it easier to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to start rolling them out into a rope. So I'm rolling this out um, into about uh, a half inch rope. And by all means, it is not perfect. Um, but I'm just rolling it out like this. And then I'm gonna take my bench scraper and I'm just gonna cut these into uh, half inch pieces um, or so. I'm not measuring or anything like that. And then I'm gonna take my fork here. I'm going to dip it in a little bit of flour and I'm just going to roll. Roll them on the back of the fork just to give them some um, just some ridges. Um, they're not rolling very well but that's okay. There we go. 
So see, it gives it some ridges so that that's what the sauce is gonna adhere to. So I'm just gonna continue cutting and rolling and then I'll show you how I cook these up. Okay, so um, my water is boiling, so I'm just gonna take a few of these gnocchi and drop them in. And, um, that's probably enough. And once they float to the surface, um, then I'm gonna let them boil for <clears throat> just about another minute. And then I'm gonna transfer them. I have some butter and sage here and I'm browning this butter. And brown butter is so good. All it is is you stick some butter in a pan and you let it heat up and it's gonna start to brown. Um, once those milk solids um, come to the surface, you'll see it start to brown. And then I'm gonna put my gnocchi in there with that sage and it's gonna be so good. Okay, so my gnocchi have been boiling for a few minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer these over to my sage butter. I'm gonna drain them really well because, um, because it's butter and I don't want the water and the butter to kind of splatter. So there we go. Now I'm gonna take my pan of boiling water out of here and I'm gonna let the um, I'm gonna let this gnocchi cook for just a few minutes here in this um, brown butter. I'm just gonna mix it around so that they can because what I want to do is kind of brown the uh, gnocchi a little bit so that they get a little bit caramelized on, um, they'll just have a really nutty, nice flavor. And so when that happens, I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, so my, um, my little gnocchi are done. Um, as you can see, they're browned um, from sitting in that butter. I just kind of browned them a little bit and I added some um, Parmesan cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano, um, over the top just to add some flavor. And let's, ooh, they're a little crunchy. Let's taste these. Mmm. Mmm. They're so good. The richness from the butter is just heavenly. And that little hint of Parmesan cheese, mmm. This is really good and so easy to make. You guys, it's so easy to make your own gnocchi from scratch with just some leftover potatoes. And what a way to make something new out of your leftovers because sometimes, you know, leftovers get old and boring. This is anything but old and boring. I'm just going to take another bite here. Mmm. Mmm. I hope that you try this recipe. Mm. It's a little hot, but so good. I hope that you try this recipe. And if you do, you can leave a picture on my Facebook page or let me know down in the comments. Thanks for joining me today on Simply Homemade with Denise.